Hello everyone, welcome to your tutorial on writing functions in MATLAB. So I'm going to take a simple example. Uh, when I'm doing this, I'm going to plot y against x squared. Uh, okay, bef before I do that, one thing that I need to tell you, why do we do functions? In any programming language, there are functions, or they sometimes call it subroutines, and some, they might have some other names, but essentially you need to have functions if you want to write neat code things that are reproducible things that other people can understand uh, and i think understanding an organization for me at least are the main reasons why you do functions uh, so let's do this example and hopefully things things will get clearer as to what i mean by organizing yourself and making it clearer okay so i have i have this in this case x equals minus pi to five Right. Uh, in fact, I'll I'll show you what the output is going to look like. Right. Uh, I'll run this. So, x is minus five all the way up to positive five, and y is just the square of all those numbers. You plot that out, you get this. Okay. Now, something something that we can do instead is we is we can have this um, a function to do all of this. So I'm going to say in this case x equals minus 10 to 10 just to make it a little bit more interesting. But my y2, right, my second y, is going to be, I'm going to do the exact same thing except I'm just going to use one line instead of having to do two lines. So it's, suppose these things are repetitive, there's a whole bunch of code that's getting repeated all the time, you can put that into a function. So I'll, I'll, what I do is I open up, an, I open up a new file and then I write write out my function. So I start off writing function uh, as as my it's a MATLAB command, right? You'll understand this is a function, not a not a test file. And then in square brackets, you write what your output is, which is in this case y, and you write sqr underscore plot. Well, that's up to you. You can name it whatever you want to. You can name it blob if you want to. And then in your normal brackets, you write x, which is your input. Now forget about this for a second, right? So all I have, all I have is I'm going to say y is equal to x squared. Remember to put your dot if you're doing this example, right? It's important to write the dot, otherwise it'll it'll try to do matrix multiplication, which is not what we want for now. And then you say figure, which opens up a new figure window, and then plot x and plot x y, which was y, which plots y versus x or x versus y, whichever way you understand it. Okay, so that's that's your function. Now when you press save, okay, so if I write up a new function called y equals blob x, when I press save or control s, it comes up with the default going blob.m. Don't change that because something about MATLAB makes it, it says, okay, if if the function name and the file name are the same, it'll chuck a hiss fit. Right? So you, unfortunately, you need to save it uh, with the same name that you give it over here. Unfortunately or fortunately, I think it's a good thing. So uh, so you save it as, in this case, sqr underscore plot. You need to save it in the same folder as well. Okay, You can't save it anywhere else. Okay, the Same folder as your main file or your test file. And then you run this. Okay. So I'm going to run this bit, and voila, you get uh, you get y was x squared again. And this time, I, the the thing is, uh, it's a bit it's a bit neater to have so two lines. It's one line. Okay, so yes, you can. Th this is a simple example, so you can do this. Write this. It's not not no big deal. But when it comes to bigger examples, it it really does make a difference because you don't want to make your test code bigger because you can't see it if you repeat that code all the time okay so if I had to write this whole y equals x squared thing 10 times I would rather do a function to do that because that way my main file I only see the main things that I need to see I don't, I don't see exactly how this this part works well, the square underscore plot I got a fair idea how it, of how it works but I don't need to understand what, what it was doing underneath I'll show you a bit more complicated function that I wrote before so in this case, uh, it's it's a line algorithm. You don't need to understand what it's doing, but just understand over here I have multiple outputs, x, y, and c. So c stands for color, and then there's x1, y1, x2, y2, which is my inputs. 
all my outputs have to have to be in square brackets my inputs in normal brackets and one more thing the inputs have to be separated by a comma uh, okay this green little bit um, okay so if you if you understand so far I think I think you that is actually enough but if you want to be a good programmer if you want to have um, good uh, styles of coding this green little bit is important w what this essentially is is a help file so over here if I go back to square plot and comment and write comments going square plot squares the input and plots it right it's saying what this what this uh, function does right the top the top little bit of the comments will come out come out uh, as a help function so what I mean by that is if I go help square underscore plot it'll go square plot plot squares input and and plots it okay um, and then all this other ramble appears in as well so it's a good idea to write the inputs and say x what is what is x x is uh, x is x okay and y is y is like I said it's a simple example I'm not too fussed about what it's really saying so, so if I go back and go help square plot goes there you go so it plots it out so it's it's a really good idea to see it so in case in case someone who's running this uh, f test or main file wants to see hey how does this function what does this function actually do there you go it, 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 um, it tells you in, as a summary what it does okay so you shouldn't put any code in there it's just in English you should explain what's what's happening okay so that's that's it for my for my functions tutorial uh, just just uh, just two two major points really one is to have your outputs in the square brackets and have your inputs in in uh, normal brackets and separate them in commas and that's that's really all that you need to understand when it comes to your functions um, it really makes things easier so I hope that helps with uh, whatever you're doing with MATLAB thank you